Hi there, uh, in this video we will quickly see how to configure workflow for parking document release. Uh, so let me just show a demo on how is it working right now so that you know what we are achieving. I'm entering a GL account, I am entering a nominal amount here. I'm basically entering a vendor invoice. Uh, so I'm saving it right, parking it right now. So that right now the document is parked. Okay, so I have configured myself as one of the releasers. So I am refreshing my SPWP and I am expecting that new document, right? 105 was the new one which got created and that got came into my business workplace. So I have double clicked on it. So now there is an option to release. So I am releasing it right now. Okay, so the release has been complete. So the next step is actually to uh, complete the document, save as completed. Uh, you can uh, choose um, a different workflow for that as well. So when you click on save as completed, uh, that is when the workflow will go into continue and get into the completion mode. Let me show the workflow log meanwhile. As you see the release is complete but the workflow is still in, in progress. That's basically because this workflow uh, 51 basically needs to complete the amount release workflow and also um, it is waiting for the uh, for document to for completion as you see here in this event. So I'm going to save it as completed now. Let me refresh here. Yeah, the workflow is complete right now. So what happens is once uh, once you complete the document here, uh, if you come here, the account assignment uh, approval will not happen because there are no agents configured. So it will complete and it will see that there is only one level of work call, only only one level of approval required, and the document will basically complete here. Before that, there will be a post document which will be happening. So the document is right now posted. So let's see how to configure this. To start with, uh, you need to uh, go to SWE2 and configure uh, configure the event for FIPP that is created. So FIPP created has been configured with the standard workflow, the one ending with 51. So this is the first step. And then you go to configuration and do basically various configurations. So search with document parking, select workflow for document parking. And here you start with the first step of creating a workflow variant. So <laughs> this checkbox is very important. Without this checkbox that is posting release, the event uh, FIPP created will not be created at all. So you need to provide a workflow here, account assignment workflow. If you need account assignment to workflow, then you need to configure agents for that. Uh, but if you do not configure any agents, then this is basically a dummy. So uh, right now, this is a standard workflow which provide, which SAP provides for account assignment. So release from amount. So if you press 100 here, that means that uh, approval will, the event will get triggered only if the amount is more than 100. So FIPP, FIPP created event will not be created if it is less than 100. So this is about the workflow variant, nothing else to do here. So next is assign the workflow variant to the company code. That means uh, whichever company code which you are uh, talking about, assign the workflow variant here. And next is defining the approval groups. 
So these approval groups you need to maintain in the vendor master data. So only then this will be considered. Uh, this is the vendor. Uh, I have selected one of the standard uh, approval group here. And next is uh, approval path. So I had to create a dummy uh, approval path here. I could not use the standard approval path here. So I'm not sure what is the reason. So I just created a approval path, which is space basically. And next, uh, there is a configuration to bind all the things which we created. That is the workflow variant, approval path, and approval group. So that will be doing next. Yeah, as you see here, uh, okay, once it loads, okay, let's wait for a moment. Yeah, so this is the workflow variant. Uh, this is the document type, which is nothing but the vendor invoice, release group, and approval path. The, Okay, so uh, the next thing is for the amount workflow, um, you need to say which workflow, which sub workflow has to trigger. So this is the sub workflow, which is for one level approval. The one ending with 53 is for two level approval. The one ending with 53, 54 is for three level approval. And based on the amount, you can maintain uh, multiple levels as well. So yeah, this is about it. Ensure, maintain, ensure that you maintain the right approval path here. So, so this is the workflow, path, workflow template for uh, amount, amount release approval. The one we maintained in workflow variant that was for account uh, based approval, account assignment based approval. So the next step is to uh, assign the agents for amount workflow. So create a new entry like this, uh, up to what amount and important to select. So as you see here, a position has been selected here. So you can select the org object and select which org unit or which job or which position and then you enter the position required. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. How you assign assign the agent there. So uh, when you assign this agent here, uh, I mean, I'd like to tell you what is happening. So what actually happens is in the amount assignment workflow that is, uh, that is in the 52, uh, the one which is 52, that is this one. In the amount assignment workflow, in the dialogue task, if you see, uh, this is the dialogue task. Display task. If you see the agent assignment uh, for this, if you see the overall view, you will see that the same position is basically coming here. That means that you can come to this task and make an agent assignment or you can use the configuration as well. Uh, you can also note that in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, position uh, which we just entered there a uh, new uh, relationship gets uh, not a relationship okay so this is the position so this is the position for which we which we selected so Okay, there is an uh, info type called SAP org objects. So you will see that uh, the uh, the configuration, the workflow variant will be configured there against against this position. So that's what I wanted to show. Okay, it has loaded at last. Okay, there it is. SAP. organizational object if you see this you will see that 
uh, our variant and release amount all these things have been configured if you see the change information it will show my name as okay so that's it about that uh, thank you